always see the sun, always see the night. They say they want a real one, they say they want a real one to make them feel young. Hey yo, what's good family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. Today we're in a whole different scenery. Y'all might see a house tour of where I'm at right now, but if you do end up enjoying this video, man, slap a fat like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new with a drum or the type of content. Click the post notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Without any further ado, man, let's go ahead and get straight into this Supreme drop list. We got a lot of bangers coming out this week, and I want to go ahead and cover it for you guys. I feel like this video is going to be on the quicker side, obviously, because I am on video vacation right now but i still want to go ahead and show you what's going to be coming out this week we got a couple collaborations coming out we got a box logo there's a jet ski we're going to go ahead and get to it but without any further ado man let's go ahead and get straight to it we're going to start all the way from the bottom of the list and work our way up to the top where the bangers are at we do got the supreme emilio pucci collaboration we've been seeing that this shit is going to come out for a minute now but it's official this shit is going to come out this week week 16 we got these sweatpants coming out these are actually kind of ass i'm not gonna lie to y'all personally i don't think that i'd be going for this this is just something that's a little bit too loud for my liking and i feel like it's not this shit is ass i don't know if this button up right here is a jacket or what the fuck it is but personally i'm I'm gooch on this piece as well let's go ahead and get past that we got the laser cut s logo which i feel like was supposed to come out last week i honestly don't even remember this one does come in like six different colorways personally i'm a fan of like that jade ish color like the green one that one's kind of cool but i'd honestly just skip on that shit we got the twill crusher which is ass this gradient piping hat which we spoke about last week and never came out that shit is cheeks we got the gradient piping camp cap which honestly i feel like i've spoken about maybe even in a video that i haven't dropped yet I don't know. I don't really like that shit. So I'm gonna leave it right there. The Emilio Pucci, the Pucci, the Emilio Pucci sweatshirt and like this multicolor is so ass. Then we got the Terry basketball shorts, which I actually kind of am a fan of. I feel like these are clean in the cream with the red color or even that black one. I just don't know how I feel about that material. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This color is kind of that's like Mavericks colorway, if I'm not mistaken. This mesh pocket cargo jacket is so sick, in my opinion. I really do love this blue color. It's like a faded blue and i really am a fan of that one i feel like if i were to go for this i'd probably go for the two front colorways that salmon color and then that bluish color is also beautiful in my opinion personally those are the only two that i would go for we got the smoking jacket which basically has that same design but it does also have the design that's going to be on the other pieces which i will talk about in a little bit i don't know if this is reversible or what the fuck they're doing with it but I'm good on that. That shit is too loud. The sport pants are actually not that bad. I still would probably skip on them shits. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The Terry basketball jersey is kind of clean. I am a fan of that cream with the red colorway. That one is actually kind of fire. If I were to go for one color, that would be the one that I'd go for, honestly. We got the Emilio Pucci short sleeve shirt. This one comes in three different colorways. And honestly, if I were to get one, I'd probably go for the black one. I also am a fan of that pink with the blue and shit. That's like a bowling shirt in my opinion so i'd probably just not get the shit at all i'm not gonna lie to y'all we got a couple more pieces from the poochie collab like this six panel i don't know bro this reminds me of like a baseball coach hat type shit like we good on that shit we got the world is yours hooded sweatshirt which once again i think i spoke about in my left to drop video i'm still gonna drop that video low key but it is what it is we do got this one in six different colorways or seven personally i do like the purple one and we also do have the gray which are pretty clean personally i don't know if i'd end up going for that because I do have a bunch of hoodies, some of which you guys are going to be seeing in an unboxing coming soon. But we do got the Emilio Pucci belt. Honestly, is this like a fake Gucci? Like, what is going on with the Pucci, bro? Like, I don't know. I do kind of like this black colorway. I feel like it's pretty versatile with what you could wear it with. I just wish that the buckle was gray. But then again, that's just being nitpicky. So we good on that. Personally, I'm just going to skip on that item. We do got the glasses, which are actually pretty hard in my opinion. If I were to go for these, I would go for that all black knowing myself. The pink color isn't that bad. Bad. I kind of like the whole design aspect of it. At the end of the day, knowing myself, I'd probably just end up skipping on it. I'm not trying to pay $150 or $200 for some glasses when I know that I could just do better. You feel me? So we're going to skip on that. Damn, we got like 50 Poochie pieces, bro. Like, my bad. But we do got the soccer jersey from Poochie as well. This one is going to come in three different colorways. Black one is the best. Again, resale wise, any of these pieces, I don't really know what Poochie does. Next up, we got the mesh pocket cargo pants that are convertible. So these do go from like this long 
sleeve looking ass pants, like actual pants, and they convert into shorts, which is so sick in my opinion. These pants right here are a banger. Once again, in that blue colorway, they're so gorgeous. I just love that like washed tone of blue. It does remind me of the Calabasas Yeezys that came out in a colorway similar to this. I tried going for those, but honestly, I took an L, so it is what it is. These are kind of cool though at the end of the day. Personally, I love the fact that you can go ahead and switch it from pants to shorts. That's just so sick because if you need shorts, you could just unzip that bitch. And if you need long pants, just zip it back. Like this is sick. I don't know. Let me know how y'all feel about those pants in the comments. Definitely the salmon or the blue colorway are beautiful. We also got the soccer jacket and the soccer shorts. Same shit once again. This is basically a jacket, which is like almost like a parka with like that thin ass hood on it that you could take off. And then it converts into like a track jacket. I do kind of like the way that the design resonates on the jacket. I'm not going to lie, but I don't know if I'd end up going for this because there's just so much shit that I can go for this week that I feel like I wouldn't really waste my time on this piece right there. So I'm going to skip on that. And we also do got the shorts as well, which once again, I don't really need the shorts. So we're going to be eye on that as well, which once again, I don't really need the shorts. So we're going to be eye on that as well. I'm going to just skip on it. So as you know, Supreme box logos are probably the most hyped weeks for Supreme and the resale is going to be crazy for this item. So I want to tell you guys about one of the best iOS bots and how to secure a copy on their next restock. They are really limited. And I know a lot of you guys who actually bought it last time they restocked have managed to cook up on a lot of drops that have been coming out. The bot is called Addict. They are actually one of the most reliable iOS bots. They cover so many stores from Supreme, Yeezy Supply, Palace, Kith, Undefeated, Bape, and literally an endless amount of Shopify sites. Addict always keeps their bot up to date to make it super efficient for you guys to cook up on these crazy releases. Best part is there's no renewal fees. So whenever you buy it, literally it's yours forever. Free updates for life. And you can split the payment into four separate payments using Sezzle to make it even easier for your pockets. So you should definitely go ahead and check the link in my description and sign up for their newsletter. That way, whenever they restock, you do have a chance to go ahead and get it. They go quick. So make sure you go ahead and sign up. Well, I did want to cover some of the features that they do cover as well, like unlimited tasks. Whatever items you're trying to go for, they do ensure that you can go ahead and put each of those items. They actually released Yeezy Mode 2.0, which has been cooking up for Yeezy flawlessly. One of their best features definitely has to be hybrid mode. You get to go inside the tasks if you need to edit something or move it around and you're still able to cook up. That's going to be one of the best ways to go ahead and get the box logo this week. So if an item sells out, you go to restock mode, you choose the item and set it up. It'll automatically check out for you. They have a discord where they give you guys reselling predictions, the keywords in order to set it up. They have a YouTube channel where they do actually a guide to go ahead and set up. It takes like 60 seconds or something like that to set it up. One of the ways to not take any more L's is by checking out addict.io. I do have a 10% off code, which is Astro. And I will leave all of that linked in the description. Make sure you sign up for the newsletter. That way you are notified whenever they do restock. All that information will be in the description for you guys. But we do have the jet ski, which might possibly be a friends and family release. I don't know exactly what they're doing with this. It does look kind of fire, bro. Like if I could get this and I had the bread and probably like a fucking boat dock in my backyard, I'd probably go ahead and get it. But I don't know if this is a piece that I personally need. So I'd probably just leave it there. And just let it do its thing, bro. Let it marinate on its own in the water with whoever bought to pay 5,000 for this shit. Like I'm gooch 100% on this. And obviously I'm not about to spend down payment money on this shit. So we good on that. Mind you, if you can get your hands on it, whether it's friends and family or whatever the fuck they're going to do with it, it's a vibe, bro. Send me some pictures and hey, I might post you on my story just for you being able to get that shit. We do got the Emilio Pucci Zippo. Back in the day, I would be the person to go ahead and buy a Zippo, my dumb ass, and just leave it on a shelf. So I don't really know if I'm going to end up buying this. I don't think I need another Zippo in my collection. I feel like I have three or four and it just doesn't make sense to buy another one. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I went through this drop list in like five minutes. But we also do have one of my favorite accessories dropping this whole season, which is the spray cans. The spray cans are so sick. I feel like they are like some little ass spray cans, but I don't really care, bro. I love spray paint. It's something that I've been, it's something that I've been fond of ever since I was like way smaller. I used to remember the deco color markers where I would go to Hobby Lobby and spend like $4 on one of them shits. And I used to love just drawing. Like I would try graffiti and shit. Obviously I never became like the best at it or whatever, but I do love this and it just looks so cool. I want to get 
two sets low key, one to just leave in the box and one to actually take out and fuck around with. But this is low key a collaboration apparently, which I didn't know. These are Montana mini spray cans. These are Montana mini cans, whatever that means, but they are hard and I'm excited for those. I actually want to try to go ahead and get those. And last up, we got the big mama, the box logos for Emilio Pucci. I've been talking about this shit forever. We got box logos coming out this week. Apparently there's like nine different sets that you can go ahead and get. There's nine colorways in a way because there's three color tees and then there's three actual designs. So there's gonna be like nine different choices to choose from. Hopefully that means that it's easier to buy. I just wanna go ahead and get one. I feel like this is one of the, damn. I feel like this is one of the better designs for a box logo that we've seen in a little while. I do like the way that they just implemented it. Before this, I'd probably say the Murakami box logo was hard as well. But this Emilio Pucci one, I love what they did with it. It almost looks like abstract art on the actual box logo and it just looks fire, but I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is probably gonna be a little bit hard to get. If you're gonna go manual, I would say go ahead and have your address filled out on Supreme. You know the usual shit. If you can pay with PayPal or if you have a phone, you can use Apple Pay, which makes it so much easier to check out. Have all your information, like your name, address, all that shit filled out and then use Apple Pay to pay. And I feel like resale for the shirt is gonna be up there to be honest. I feel like 200, it will, I feel like it'll start at 200 and gradually these will go up to the four, three to 400 price range. I even feel like these will go even higher if you do hold it for a solid amount of time. So that's something to consider as far as these go. You do wanna go ahead and hold this item to prolong the profit margin that you can make from it. This week, there's gonna be a lot of bangers, bro. When it comes to the spray cans, the Emilio Pucci collaboration, the box logos are so fire. I feel like these are actually worth it. And in my opinion, if I were to get this one, I might actually wanna wear it. I love the way that they actually, I love the way that they implemented the design on it. And I just think it looks cool in general. That pretty much does it for this video, man. If you guys did enjoy this one, go ahead and slap a fat like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Click the post notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And do not forget to look at the sub count. It's right up here. Add your sub to the family, man. I really do appreciate each and every one of y'all who come back and show love. It does mean the world and it does not go unnoticed. So thank you so much for always showing love. And I guess with all that being said, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace, stay up, and I'm out. Never see the sun, always see the night. They say they want a real one, they say they want a real one to make them feel young.